Hi, I'm Debbie, and today we're keeping it simple with Testa's Pantry. As uh, mentioned in my post yesterday, we're going to be trying a couple different balsamic variations. Uh, balsamic dressing, balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm not sure if you've tried any before. Uh, we have talked about them, but we've never really demoed. And it's, it's just very simple. Just a couple of basic ingredients, and you have a really nice, simple balsamic vinaigrette. But there are variations, and we'll work on some of our favorites right here now. Okay, so we're going to start with a traditional. A traditional, uh, and I use measuring cups simply because I find it easier. I can just measure right in there. So a, a traditional calls for a traditional balsamic. So right here we have our condimento, I mean the uh, balsamic di Modena, IGP Bronzo. The Bronzo is a very nice, uh, aged about eight to 10 years. It has a nice woody to, uh, flavor to it. And the notes are just rich and really great. Once you're used to this balsamic, you're not gonna wanna go back to anything else. It, it just has some really nice flavor notes. So anyways, we're going to do two tablespoons of the Balsamico di Modena IGP Bronzo. So we start with two. All right. Now to that, we're going to add a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to whisk. Now to that we can we could just keep it very simple and add a half of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And to this one I'm going to use the Ofi Blanca. We want to whisk until the salt is pretty much dissolved into the balsamic. So there, that's pretty much dissolved. So we're going to take the Ofi Blanca and I'm going to add very slowly while I'm drizzling a half of a cup. I'm gonna have to cheat and put my glasses on so I can actually see what I'm doing. So right now, this makes up two, two tablespoons is an eighth of a cup. So we're going to go up just a little bit beyond a half of a cup. And we're gonna keep whisking as we're doing this. A little bit beyond a half of a cup. In the measure. Okay, there, that's that. So now I'm just going to keep whisking until it emulsifies. The faster you whisk, the more it emulsifies. Now we can leave it right there, and that's a basic balsamic vinaigrette. Simple, right? What we like to do though, and this is delicious, I don't know if you've ever tried this before. But take a half of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A half of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And whip that up. And then we can put in a half of a clove of garlic. This was a big clove. You can use a small clove of garlic, minced really fine. using half of what I had there because it was a larger clove. Now there you go. Balsamic vinaigrette with some garlic and Dijon mustard and it's just really great on a romaine salad or on arugula or on leaf lettuce. It's really really good. Um, on the leaf lettuce though I do prefer something a little bit lighter. So we're going to move on. And instead of using the traditional balsamic, we're going to use the Condimento Bianco. This Condimento Bianco, I'm going to rinse this off. Bear with me, I did, should have done it before. All right, so we have a clean measuring spoon. Condimento Bianco is made with Trebbiano only grapes. It's very light, it's about the consistency of a champagne vinegar but it's sweeter. And this is aged very lightly in stainless steel to maintain the integrity of the golden color. So there, we start with that. We add 
add again a teaspoon of salt and then we whisk. This whisk is not as effective because it's a little too big for this, but we're going to whisk. Now, in the traditional balsamic uh, vinaigrette, I used an Oki Blanca. It's uh, a deeper flavor. It's got nice peppery finish to it, <clears throat> and it works really well with the traditional balsamic. With the Continental Bianco, I'm going to use an Arbequina. The Arbequina is very fruity. It is, it's pretty amazing. It's really good on a leaf lettuce or a fruity type salad. So now we're going to put in, again, a little over a half of a cup of the Arbequina Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And we're going to beat this until it emulsifies. Now, again, we can leave it just as is and drizzle it over top of our salad. We can put it on a fruit salad or we can put it on leaf lettuce, just a simple leaf lettuce and tomato salad. Or we can dress it up a little bit and add a little bit of basil. This basil will give it a freshness and a brightness. And it's just chiffered basil, nothing too fancy. And there you go, you have it a little bit more versatile. You can put it over top of tomatoes and you already have your basil in here. And it's really delicious. So there's a couple, uh, a couple of varieties of balsamic vinaigrettes that you can try. And if you have any other ideas that you'd like to share with us, please do. Just email us, send it to info at testaspantry.com. You can respond to this, um, this video and let us know that way. Or if you don't like any of these, just let us know that too, whatever your preference. I am just thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Take care.